Hey, this is Jackson Wang, and here are all the snacks that I would die for. Oh my god. In Chinese, it's a childhood snack. It's called Da Bai Tu. It's been around for like millions of years, you know? And every time as a kid, you would just walk past a shopping mall, it's just like everywhere. When you eat it, the first time, it feels like a milkman just slapped you in the face. I would have this in my house. My mom knows that I love him. I would eat them every time after a meal, before the meal, anytime. Mm. The milkman is here. Da Bai Tu actually means the big white rabbit. So if you ever get a chance to visit China, this is it. Search for the rabbit. Bam! This is, as you can uh, see, it's called uh, sunflower seeds. First of all, this is so good. It comes in like, like this. You think to yourself before you eat this, you're like, okay, you know what? There's so many of them, I'm gonna have three. And to a certain point, your arms, your, your hands are not listening to you. You just finished that whole thing. Everyone would eat this, you know, talking with friends at night, you're gathering, watching movies, drinking. This would just be on the table. People know how good you are. So if you're a pro, you just crack it. Oh, another one, give me another chance. <laughs> if you're a pro, you, you crack it. And you eat it, and then you spit out. Maybe I'm not the best example, but hey, I'm not an amateur. So there are levels. And they judge you. You call this, in Chinese, Shanja. And again, this is one of those snacks as a kid, you have no idea what it is, and you're, you're just there on the table, and you're like, Mom, what is this? And, just, and they're like, you shut up, just eat it. Can somebody tell me what this is made out of, though? I just gotta call my mom and ask. Hawthorne. It's made out of hearthworn. But I can describe the taste of it. Apple with sugar, I would say. You know, they come in different sizes. The other ones that I have, it's almost like a pile of tokens. Boom. Yes! All right, see you, bro. This one. It looks like a pile of tokens. And, hmm, growing up back home, it's the thing that we would go for. It's one of like top five. That's like an upgrade version, but this is like the original. Boom! Shashima. It was just on the table. And as a kid, I love these. It's made out of like flour, egg, and like syrup, I guess. These are like so good. It comes in like this. Mmm. Childhood. You have the texture of a brownie that tastes like a cake, like a cookie. Yeah. It's not that sweet. Just right. How frequently am I eating this? Um, not frequently, but it's one of those that you, when, when you see it, when you bump into it, you're like, ah, it's like, you know, seeing your family member, like your aunt, your uncle. You don't travel with them, you're not with them every day, but when you see it, you just feel, you just feel home. This, my best cereal, first pick. After becoming a singer performer, I travel around the world. Every place I go, I would buy like the local cereal, which were great. But you know, one of my best, 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 best cereal is this. It's not too sweet, it's crunchy. Oh man. I think, you know, I'm a fan of like milk. It's almost like the Da Bai Tu, you get I me? Mean? It's, it's like that milky. And I feel like this cereal does not interfere with the relationship between the cereal and the milk. It keeps like its distance. Nothing can beat this at this moment. <laughs> This is Rice Krispies. It's a gift and a curse. It's like, you try one, you can't not have two. You try two, you cannot not have three. And the thing about this is, you, uh, you can make them at home. 
And when you make them, it come, it's this big and you just finish everything. I can't believe. Everyone loves this, right? Yeah? No, why is, why, why is everyone like shaking their heads? This is the best. Every time on set, when I'm like shooting, every time it's here. How can anyone not fall in love with this? Leave a comment if you're not a fan of this, man. Hey guys, again, this is Jackson Wang, and thank you so much for watching me, you know, sharing my childhood snacks and the snacks that I would die for. And also make sure to check out my new album, Magic Man. It's the process of me finally, you know, becoming who I am now. Everybody could be their form of Magic Man. Please, please check it out.